on a number of television programs. The history of the uh, creative community's attempt to introduce gay characters into popular culture has not altogether been uh, uh, successful. Another, and, and we shouldn't be surprised at the response of this audience. Stephen Carrington, he was gay for a while, then he was what? Then, he, then he went to a shrink, and I don't know what happened to him. And he, what happened? He, he, was, he started from... off as a gay character. I watched Dynasty. He started as a gay character, became bisexual, heterosexual, bisexual, homosexual. Both his lovers died. One was, both were yeah. shot to death. One yeah. was, and uh, then they didn't know what to do with the character, so they shipped him off the show. Right. And, and that, that makes a point. What we advocate is education. What's wrong with education? We advocate pro, uh, responsible, pro-gay right. rep, uh, representations on TV. Let me try and introduce, let me just see if I can introduce into this angry audience <laughs> and this mood. This very powerful scene from Torch Song Trilogy, a magnificent movie uh, that, incidentally, uh, a movie that not unlike other movies featuring gay uh, uh, themes, didn't have altogether that long to tap dance on our uh, stage, but did score, I think, some very, very important points, shared information with lots of people. Here are Anne Bancroft playing his mother. The uh, creator of this work, Harvey Firestein, is... Uh, the a gay son, just take a look at this scene from Torch Song Trilogy. You haven't spoken one sentence since I got here without the word gay in it. Because it's what I am. What if that was all? You could leave it in there where it belongs. But no, you're obsessed with it. You're not happy unless everybody's talking about it. <laughs> Try and imagine the world the other way around. Imagine that every book, every magazine, every newspaper, every TV show, every movie was telling you, you should be homosexual. You know you're not. You know the youth is this Stop right already. It. You're talking crazy. You all know it's crazy. After all these years, I'm still sitting here trying to justify my life. This is crazy. You call this a life. This is a sickness. But it's what you've chosen for yourself. Now, look, I'm gay. I don't know why. I don't think anyone does. That's what I am. For as far back as I can remember. Back before I knew it was different or even wrong. You I'm... have not heard one word I've said. I know you'd rather I was straight out not. Would you also rather I'd lie to you? My friend Ed would never dream of telling his parents. Instead, he cut his parents out of his life, and his parents wonder why. Why is my child so distant? Is that what you'd rather? No. But it doesn't have to be our every conversation, either. You want to be a part of my life? I'm not editing out the things you don't like. Can we end this conversation? No! Come on! There's one more thing you better understand. I have taught myself to sew, cook, fix plumbing, build furniture. I can even pat myself on the back when necessary. All so I don't have to ask anyone for anything. There's nothing I need from anyone except for love and respect. And anyone who can't give me those two things has no place in my life. Hello. Phil, I think... Phil, that clip, that clip pointed something out. We may not be the norm in this country, but we're normal, and we're human beings, and That's we need to right. be accepted in this country as human beings. I just wanted to say, if, you know, you're gay, that's your business. Personally, I think it's sick, but I don't think it should be commercialized on TV because I don't want my niece or nephew or my future kids growing up to be gay. Do you so believe crime should be? I think you turn it into crime it's programs. Mm -hmm. What should it's we sick. do with gay people? <laughs> God, I don't know. Hide him away. It's hide him away. Uh, where should we hide him? What? Uh, how about? Take him to the desert or something and build. If I don't know. I think away, it's sick. There goes the entertainment industry. Yeah. Does it bother it's you? Sick. Does it bother you that? Uh, you, take him away. Uh, you mean put him behind a fence or what? You mean put him? You mean put him in? You mean put him in here for a moment, just for a second. <laughs> Do you, do you appreciate that that's what they said about the Japanese in the and United And the Jewish States. people in, in Germany. In, See, in the United know. States of America in the 40s. That's what they said about the Jews in Germany. I, I take them it's away. Just, it's sick, though. How do we... Dis and and uh, it's sick because... Ma'am, homophobia is sick, not homosexuality. Yeah. Bigotry it's is sick. It's just sick. I don't want my kids growing up around it. It's sick. Mm, the end. And we'll be back in just a moment. Cast relives a chorus line next on you. Maybe uh, can we show them uh, what created the um, considerable response here in this audience? Is a soap opera titled Secret Passions, which is now available for public access and is showing in a number of large cities in this country. 
David Gadbury is its uh, creator, producer, and also acts in it. And we featured a scene of two males kissing at the beginning of this program, and the audience is uh, still responding to what they believe to be is, some are calling this uh, recruitment, uh, some are saying not on my TV. Uh, show them those other slides. Here are some other attempts, uh, some very good. Here's from Making Love. Harry Hamlin starred in uh, Making Love and uh, later thought that it did uh, influence his career and not necessarily in a positive way. My Beautiful Laundrette uh, was likewise uh, a gay theme. Personal Best with Mariel Hemingway uh, featured uh, gayness. And An Early Frost starred Aidan Quinn. Uh, I think there were some daytime soap operas that uh, briefly featured uh, homosexual characters, but they oh, always disappear, don't they? Very quickly, very quickly. Yes. I'm amazed and appalled at the ignorance in this audience, the bigotry that's going on. It's really scary. I work with a lot of gay men. I know I have gay friends, and they're normal, just like you and me. They have their different style of life. Yes, they are. They're human beings. This audience sounds like it's Selma, Alabama in 1963. Uh, yeah. It's really appalling. I just want to say that this is the 90s, and if we're going to be raising our children, they should know all about these things. I don't think that I don't think we should that's, shelter them. That's and a good point. There's there's an alarming increase in violence against gays and lesbians. Yeah. There's a dramatic and appalling increase yeah. in gay and lesbian teen suicide. Why not educate ourselves? But you, Why you not keep talking become about to education. understand about people instead of hating people? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You, you keep talking about education, but the point is you keep putting it on a personal level with whoever stands up to question your opinion. You should let other people have their own opinion. If, if you don't want to watch it on TV, turn yes, the channel. Yes, that's fine. That's what I've been saying all along. If you do turn not like the show, don't watch it. I'm not here to force a, a, a show on everybody in America. That's your prerogative. Don't watch it, but leave yeah. us alone. Yeah. Let us live our life. We're not forcing anything on you. You're trying to force us back into the closet, which we will never go back to. Yeah. Right. Over here, please. Yes, ma'am. Over here, please. Hold on one second here. I've got three shows going in. <laughs> your two gay guests purport gayism to be normal. God forbid they should get AIDS. Also, I know what we can do with them. We can put quarantine or off off cross their channel. Oh, yeah. Quarantine yeah, bigotry. Sitting over here. Tattoo bigotry. Phil, I just want to say this right at this point. Homosexuality is clearly a developmental disorder. No, it's a traumatized condition. Your faith and your own foundation on fiction. Can I finish? I didn't no. interrupt you. We, we will never. Interrupted me we will times. never see, surrender the moral high ground no, to you. No. Never. See, see, see. Every time I try and say something, I get and cut every off. Every time we try to say something, and therefore, you interrupt. No, I didn't. I've been thing. sitting here very quietly for ten minutes. Let me finish. Bim, bim, I please. For a Thank you, Phil. You've been reading your yeah. notes. Your no. notes of bigotry during the commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Let him. Let him make his point. All right. Homosexuality develops at a very, very early stage. There's no conclusive evidence of any kind. Dr. John Money of Johns Hopkins University says there's no conclusive evidence of any kind that it's in the biological, hormonal, or genetic stream. So what? It happens, so what? Here's what it is. I say says, that homosexuality is reparative. It no. can be healed. Yeah. You can be brought out it's of it. Failed. And you it's failed. It's not an illness. It's yeah. a, your it's program not has failed. Thousands, your program of, has people, failed. thousands of people are being Reverend. brought out of it today through reparative therapy. Yeah, Reverend. Reverend. Joseph and they're shot no, they're treatment. not. They're probably being if Reverend. you don't want to do it, that's your business. Well, then don't force it, it on them. Then why are you trying to stop those who want to come out of it? Because you're doing that. You're well, trying I'm to stop those who want to come out of it. If somebody doesn't want to do anything, then don't do it. Over here, if I may. I just want to say that I'm a lot more offended by the Reverend and his hostility and the way he's judging other people than I am by homosexuality. I just wonder, if we were back in biblical time with Mary Magdalene, how many people would be throwing stones? Yes. I just want to say that every homosexual that I'm personally acquainted with is very passionate of his style of life. And I think for us to sit here and bash the way they live, it's wrong. It's like, I don't, I don't think I believe in the same God you do. The God I, the God I believe in is going to look at these men's heart and judge whether or not he's a good person. Oh, let me ask you. Still, I think it's they very important. They believe that in their heart, that, they, that that is the way they should live. And you shouldn't judge, you shouldn't bash 
them because they split no, that way. No, I'm not way. bashing them. Yes, no, you I'm are. Not bashing them. Yes, oh, no, I'm right. not bashing them. Let me let me speak to my own it's defense. Like bigotry with a smile can I face. speak? Can I speak yes, to my own defense? Yes, of course you may, Reverend. Thank you. I am not bashing them. Not much. And and believe me, I am very compassionate. I work with many reparative people, Repair. recovered homosexuals, and they are telling me that they are being bashed by the homosexual gay militants. I find now, that you may not know that, and you may not know that, but we work with many reparative recovered homosexuals. Repair and, your own hatred. And we'll be... 12-step recovery program for hatred. in just a moment. Sounds like you're kind of hating. <laughs> Let me just, uh, I want you in, and we don't have that much left. I want to be on the record here. My conscience tells me I better be. We enjoy a very, this program enjoys a very good reputation, if I may brag for a moment, with the gay community. It's, and we've worked hard for it, and we've certainly had our share of uh, hostile mail. We should also tell you that an awful lot of people in America today understand this as a very real prejudice. They came for the Jews. I wasn't a Jew, so I didn't speak up. They came for the... Black. American Indians, I didn't speak up. They came for the blacks. I wasn't black, and they came for me. But those are and there was no one left to Phil. speak up. Phil, those are if we don't appreciate, if we don't appreciate what homophobia is doing to all of us, we endanger all our children, regardless of what uh, no, their sexual That's status Phil. may be. Phil. Just, well, I'm almost finished, Reverend. I've been a real good boy today. I have not taken up a lot of time. <laughs> yes, you have. Gays are the first target of the fascists. Gays are, uh, I think it was wrong that, they, uh, that, that dignity was thrown out of St. Patrick's Cathedral. I think gay people can be jerks, mm -hmm. but it's not about gayness. It's about their humanness, just like so-called straight people can be jerks. Right, right on. Phil, can I add on? And we better, we better work on this, or, you know, we've got people who want to put them behind fences. Doesn't that bother you a little bit? No, yeah. Phil, Phil. Phil. Phil, no, that's wrong. Let's, let's, Phil, let's repair that is hatred. Wrong. Thank you, Phil, Reverend. The Reverend is, is on the record. That's wrong. That is yes. wrong. And let me further say quickly that that is wrong. But yes. immutable but characteristics you, such right. as race and gender have no comparison. Immutable, I see. Yes, immutable. Right. Race right. and One gender and color. Thing. And One that thing. is and not to be compared yes. with behavior. Right. What you I wanted like to say. say is that this show started off in Orange County as a gift to love to an individual. It is promoting compassion, love, and understanding. And if society doesn't start practicing that, there's nothing going to be left in America. We're all going to kill each other. And, and prejudice kills. Homophobic kills. Prejudice against anybody of any sex, creed, or anything yeah. kills. And, and, so, and let's me... repair. Let's repair. Let's repair hatred. Let's not repair homosexuals. And let's tune out. Let's, let's tune out intolerance and bigotry and tune in freedom of expression right. and freedom of and, speech. And let me get this house in. Please give me the chance now. With not much time left, one-liners. You got in early. I got to get somebody who has an edit. In, yes. All right. Um, Briefly. Please. I can't believe that we still want to hide this. How long? The reason we're acting like this in this audience is because we've hid it for so long. We can't keep this from our children. Right. Yes. Yes. Briefly, what, what frightens me as a minister of the church showing so much hatred, that's the education. Right. Right on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As a grandmother, I would like to say that the gay society or the lesbian are, they are here, they're a society, and I don't think we will be able to prevent them from doing what right. they want to do. What we have to try to do is to teach our children and grandchildren not to follow their lifestyle. Good job. Yes. Yeah. Can be as gay as you want to be, but if you're going to educate, instead of having raunchy soap operas, why don't you raunchy. go to the schools? Why don't you, you go don't to things like show. that? You don't know the but you what I did see was kind of gross. Two naked men in a bed. A one-hour pilot. Bed, I... one hour pilot. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> What I want to say is people are sensing a lot of hatred here, and I just want to say it's not hatred for them. God loves them, just as she said, but God hates sin, and that's what it is, and we love these people. You want it? Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone should uh, live and do what they want to do. I think Reverend uh, Sheldon needs to understand love in his heart 
and understand what homosexuals want and need out of their lives. I and that's to be accepted like Sheldon everyone else. I think go back else. and learn something. Go back to church and I learn listen, something about compassion. I understand, love. I do not accept the behavior as normal. And why should I be condemned for a principle that I stand on? Yeah. And, we do not, and we do not accept hatred in the no, 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 you no. condemn me for my convictions. We respect you your right.